Not anything major. Uh, there's there's minor uh, adjustments that we made in, in the prep, but it's, it's not uh, about what we're doing physically. It's more uh, mentally uh, being ready for it. Uh, and we know what to expect, how physical um, and how mentally challenging uh, this series will be. They're a very good basketball team, and uh, the further you get along in the playoffs, the tougher it is. So uh, our guys are, are ready, and um, you, know, you deal with the schedule that you have, and hopefully we learn from last series. The fact that you've gone through similar already, does that even not make it a concern this time? This whole Depends on who you ask. Uh, come from my chair, I, w I wanted to make sure that we did some things uh, slightly different. Um, but it, uh, our guys are, uh, are intelligent and they own uh, uh, things. And um, you know, again, I said it uh, a couple days ago, you also have to credit Chicago. They were coming off the seven game uh, uh, battle and they were, they were uh, absolutely ready at the game one. They played a very good basketball game. Um, so uh, we just have to find a way uh, tomorrow night, however it is. Um, you know, at the end, just find a way to win. Did the ruling you practice against the Bulls keep running through your head? Not anymore. No. I mean, uh, do a couple things different in preparation, but uh, you know, our, uh, our guys uh, understand what's what's ahead uh, and the challenge that we have with this team, and um, and we have to get off to a good start. With the ruling practice that you guys have been having, how much are you guys looking forward to finally lacing them up for real? Yeah, today was less grueling, so uh, no question about it. Yesterday, I think guys were uh, tired of hitting each other uh, and ready for the next uh, uh, team to compete against. Them. Coach, what makes them good? So good against guarding the three. You talked yesterday about how good they are in the middle with Hibbert, but they're really good against the three as well, which is kind of unusual with a team with such a big man. Well, he's a dynamic big. Um, he defends a lot of different situations, and he's gotten much better uh, over the years. And they build a system uh, around him. Um, so the perimeter defenders are long, can cover ground, and they stay at home. Uh, and they allow Hibbert to, to protect the rim uh, a lot of times with two-on-two -two coverage with whoever's the ball, and then he's coming to a late help. Uh, we've got to move their bodies, not only uh, Hibbert, but the rest of them. And uh, you know, pacing and the spacing of how we do things will be critical. Does this feel much different than in 05 or 06? And it's just in the sense of you've been on this stage now five times in nine years. Feel new. Don't want to take it ever for granted. Um, I always tell the story when I was an assistant for Stan um, in 04, 05. Every single one of us thought we were going to the finals for sure that entire year. Uh, and even uh, during the, the Eastern Finals, uh, we were convinced and uh, we weren't able to close it out in, a, in a Game 7 on our court. Um, so you never want to take anything for granted. Um, but. Um, this organization has, has been built around expectations, big expectations, and uh, we've all embraced that. So, Eric, do you tell that story to the players? No, they don't need to hear it. And they What's don't, that? They don't need to hear it, and they don't really care about uh, our old history. Oh, you, you haven't told it? No. Uh, Dwayne's a warrior. He's proven himself uh, as a warrior. Uh, and he's given us uh, everything he's got. Um, he's practiced uh, every single day uh, since the end of last series, so uh, I take that as a good sign. Eric, Dwayne got to the line 14 times uh, last season in game one against the Pacers. If he can't get to the rim like, like he like, like he said he was going to get against the Pacers last year, yeah, how, how, how do you want to recreate, I guess, that aggressive approach that you know the series is going to demand? Uh, we have to get to our game. And both teams are going to try to impose uh, our respective identities on each other. Uh, we're an aggressive attacking team. We need to get to the paint, to the free throw line. Uh, they defend that as well as anybody in the league. Uh, and that's why we have to do it with the pace and, uh, and be uh, disciplined to our spacing. So we're going to try to get to our game, see what happens. Is it worth much of anything that the Pacers don't have a lot of guys who have been this deep in this game before? Uh. I don't know. I mean, you know, they they have experience now. Uh, two uh, real tough uh, playoff runs, uh, two years in a row, and uh, you know they've gotten better that core group.